guys, it's Paul, and today I have a really cool figure to show you. This guy is from the Mythic Legion's All-Stars 5 Plus Wave, and this guy is Xenathon. Now, Xenathon is a pretty wicked cool figure. You can see by the ultra cool packaging that he has two different heads he comes with. He has this helmeted head that's on the figure, and then he has an orc head next to it. And this guy, um, very bright colored and such, he's in the, the bio, in the whole mythos of these characters. This guy is like a magic user. He's actually like a weird kind of unknown orc angel half combination creature that very little is known about but he's very powerful and he's a good protector of nature and hangs with uh Zylana's flock and stuff so he's sort of like an elf angel magical being and um that's why he has these bright colors that's why he looks the way he does that's why he has the helmet he also has something very very cool and that is he comes with a set of red feathered wings now that's pretty uh cool item actually to have on a figure like this and um it's also a great figure if you want to do customizing and things like that this guy is a really good figure to do that um and i'll tell you I've seen pictures of this guy, and when we get him over to the table, I'll try to show you exactly, but the colors on him pop more when you're actually holding him in your hand. He looks really, really cool. Uh, the tones of gray in his skin, uh, wow, they're really cool. And the blue, like at first glance, it looks like he's just all blue, but the the studs and, and such are highlighted in a glossier, shinier blue. And a lot of his reds and such are in such cool, eye-popping metallic colors. Like this helmet in person looks really cool. Um, it really is a neat design for the helmet. Reminds me of a lot of really cool sci-fi things that they drew reference from to make this helmet and the more I look at the helmet the more I love the helmet it's beautiful but this is a really cool looking figure and it has some really nice accessories and and of course because he's a orc angel hybrid I decided to wear my shirt you know for from my buddy that my buddy Chris gave me for his line of action figures, Biblical Adventures, he has a toy line that's in pre-production right now. It's going to be coming out. You can get them on pre-order at uh, Big Bad Toy Store and a few other retailers. But they're a really cool line of action figures based on religious figures. If you love religious figures, it's a great line because you have like really nice religious figures you could do a lot with. If you uh, don't like, if you hate religion, then you can definitely, this is for you because you can get Moses and have, have like this dude kick his ass and like have a bunch of skeletons beat him up. So it's pretty much a win-win. And of course, everybody's always asking them, Mythic Legion's uh, Four Horsemen, like when are they going to do Town Folk and stuff, and these figures are perfect size to go with the Mythic Legions to be extras in your world of Mythic Legions. So anyway, I'm sure most everybody knows it's Biblical Adventures. Check it out. It's really cool stuff. It's done by nice people, and I'm just giving them a little pop for the hell of it. Catch that? Anyway, this guy's really cool. He's a great figure. Let's go take him over to the table. Let's pop him open and have a close look at the detail on him. And we'll take a couple pictures and then we'll come back and talk about him. I wanted to start by showing you the cool packaging this guy has. Uh, so here he is just out of the packaging. And then the wings, there's a look at them. So beautiful. And of course it's a, a different clamshell that holds these pieces together there's the wing plug up there that goes into his back and then the wings connect into that 
There's the pauldrons and extra set of hands that he comes with. And then he comes with the extra belts that go around his waist. These little plugs go into the sides of the helmet. Also, there are other things that can fit in the helmet, but these are the plugs that go with that helmet. So here is Xenathon with all his gear on. I added the belt straps across his torso, the pauldrons, the wings, and the helmet spikes, and here he is. A very cool looking figure. Really like the details. As you can see, there is a different blue, a metallic blue painted for the studs in the skirt. And also on here, you can see that different shade. He also has some highlight in this belt. The helmet on him is very metallic, as is a lot of the other pieces. They have a bit of a metallic sheen to them. It's such a unique helmet. Really gives that character a different kind of look. The wings are awesome. Very heavy. You know, now when you balance this guy out, uh, you know, he leans a little bit forward to keep the balance correct, as do all the figures that have the wings. And of course, you can bring the wings up and really open them up. It's a little tricky to do in keeping your hands in front of a camera. Let's see, balance him up here. Oh. I, well, you saw him for a second. Again, he's heavy uh, with the wings. So if you just have him standing without a stand, it takes a little bit to balance him. As you can see, though, he looks great. You can also fold the wings down, uh, which I do a lot on my displays. And then I'll use the back little bits of wings to help balance him out. And then he's stable. So sometimes I display them like that with the wings down. Uh, but of course, you know, he has very awesome dynamic. You could get so many neat looks with these wings. Back this up a little. Very cool looking. The wings alone are, are so cool that, you know, um, it almost makes me want to get more just so I have a couple sets of these wings. Uh, they're really fun to mess with and to add to other characters. And they do really give a dynamic look to the figure. Let's pop this head off and take a look at the orc head that comes on him, or comes with him. This orc head is beautifully painted. You take a look at it close, you can really see some of the detail in it. Very nicely done. Very cool gray orc head on this guy. So, he also comes with this here magical staff. He comes with a trident. And he also comes with two extra hands, which are nice position. I like this position of hands. They tend to work good for poses. So let's take a couple pictures of Xenathon and see how he looks.
So what did you think of him? Did you like this character? You know, he's a bit of an unusual looking one with the ultra bright colors and stuff. Whereas most of the figures, you know, that I gravitate to are in the darker colors or things like that. Where, you know, usually you don't have armor suits that are bright blue and red. But the figure is really, really cool. And when I was doing the poses with him and stuff, I really dug the way he looked. You know, now I tend to like my orcs to be green. I tend to go dark colors and stuff like that. That's just me. But um, this is still a really, really cool figure. And I think I'm probably going to use him as a base figure for a customization that I'm going to do with one of the 3D printed heads that either I'm printing or someone else is. So the figure is really, really cool. And I'm seriously thinking about even grabbing another one because I love the figure as a base figure. Uh, there's a lot you can do with him. Plus, he comes with those really cool wings. And the wings really look spectacular in the pictures and stuff. You know, I, I thought they looked great anyway. Uh, they really add a really cool element that, uh, you know, I want to kind of play with more. And I think I'm going to do something with the wings. And I think I'm going to do something with the body. And I think I'm going to do something with a little of this and a little of that. So, anyway... That's the fun of the Mythic Legions lines, because even if the figure is not necessarily your cup of tea, you know, there's still a ton of things you can do with them. I've seen people, and I've personally repainted figures completely, uh, and I've, you know, come out with some really, really awesome custom stuff that, you know, is able to show your personality and what you like, and, and again, that's just the fun of pop and swap and the whole customizing and repainting and even 3D printing parts. I mean, it is really just an inclusive good time all based all around this one particular toy line, which is made specifically for people like me, probably like you. So anyway, hey, thank you very much. Let me know what you think of this figure. What do you think of the bright colors and stuff? Does he fit in your collection? Or are you going to do something different with him? So I'm dying to find out. Let me know. And we will see you next time on Toys in Motion.